August 25th, 1967. Hockey history is made in St. Louis. The St. Louis Blues are one of six teams added to the National Hockey League. Home ice, the arena, which needed a lot of work. Here's what the parking lots on Oakland Avenue around the arena looked like before they were paved and lit for fans before the first season. The team's first owners, Sid Solomon Jr. and his family. Our archives include a long interview KSTK reporter Chris Condon did with Solomon and St. Louis Blues business manager Frank Lieber. Our first problem is to make sure that we're ready for training camp. After that, we've got exhibition games scheduled. Solomon's next move, spending millions upgrading and expanding the arena. We've got a great building, and if spending well over a million dollars is going to make it greater, that's what we're going to do. Every concession stand in the, in the arena will be enlarged to twice its original size. We're adding some. And adding a private club. It'll be possibly, I say this with no, uh, no degree of hesitation, it'll be the most beautiful room in the Midwest. And uh, it'll be a private club with a limit of 300 members. And that, incidentally, Bob, has been filled in a short space of 10 days. Plays it back to the blue line on the right side. Picard shot is steered wide in front of the net. The Blues qualified for the playoffs in their first season and were infamously swept in the Stanley Cup Finals the following year. The Solomon family would be forced to sell the team 10 years later.